It's Amit Dave Honda and welcome. So I often get asked, ever since we got technology, uh, we're around computers, we're around tablets, uh, we're around kitchen appliances, microwaves, um, and these things produce magnetic fields. And magnetic fields have a, can throw off the balance spring, the mechanical automatic watch. What that means is, is that can throw the timing of the watch off, usually it can gain a lot of time. So if your watch usually within the parameters is plus or minus 10 seconds a day and your watch gets magnetized, it could run fast a minute a day. And then people are wondering, well, why is my watch running fast? Is there a defect with my watch? It's fairly normal fix to go and get your watch demagnetized, but it is a pain in the butt to do. Not every retailer has access to demagnetizing your watch. Not every retailer has a watchmaker or a watchmaker who's proficient into demagnetization. So an anti-magnetic watch usually, you know, which was built, I think the first one was built in the 1800s by Vacheron Constantine and then the first automatic wristwatch that, that was, you know, anti-magnetic was built by Tissot. And in the 40s, 1940s, IWC popularized it with their pilot's watches because pilots were around magnetic fields. There are two ways of demagnetizing a watch. One is by having, you know, an iron cage, which is housed around the movement of the watch. Uh, the movements are usually made out of metals which get magnetized, specifically the balance spring. Uh, so by having an iron shield or an iron core, uh, the movement is, I mean, it's not impervious to uh, magnetization, but there's a much, much stronger possibility it won't get magnetized. Specifically watches that are being anti-magnetic, like the IWC Pilots watches, or the Rolex Milgauss, or, you know, even some Omegas. And there's a bunch of watches out there. This watch that I'm wearing right now, this Tissot PRX Powermatic 80, this is an anti-magnetic watch as well. Another way of countering magnetization is having the balance spring made out of uh, a material that is much more resistant to magnetic fields like Niverox, which is like a nickel sort of based material or silicone, which is, uh, I believe, just as good if not better solution. A lot of you out there may think there's a problem with your watch. It just may be a simple solution of that your watch has been magnetized. Um, if you can, I would highly suggest that when you're looking for your next watch, see if it if it has an anti-magnetic feature on, especially if you're on technology. It would definitely help. If you have any questions, you can email me at amitdevhonda at gmail.com or you can DM me.